Hey guys, welcome to Fly Top King. Hey, we caught that elusive trout and we ended up putting on the Blackstone 22 inch griddle. We also grilled up some country style potatoes and onions. If you guys wanna see this concoction, here we go. Alrighty, first things first, we got some massive bacon potatoes. We are gonna slice thin and start them on the Blackstone griddle. So let's see, we'll probably just cut them in half. And this is more paying homage to my aunts when we grew up um, camping. Um, I mean, they would cut the potatoes in their hand, like right over the griddle, just like this, or their pot or stove or whatever. So I don't encourage you to do that. <laughs> Let's keep a firm base and we're just gonna go thin. First, I'm gonna add some oil to the griddle. And then as the potatoes cook and the onions, we'll be able to add some butter. I just don't want the butter to get on there early and then start burning. We got a long ways to go. Just some nice thick slices of onions. Matter of fact, we might actually put the whole onion in there. Nice color. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are cooking nicely. It won't take long, especially as thin as they are. So we'll get the onions down there. I want those to cook as well. Ooh, it smells like the fair. Oh yeah. You got your camping version of salt and pepper. Which is salt and pepper. Oh, you know what? I'm going to change things up a little bit. Shameless plug. Never go camping without it. Shake that's perfect for this situation and all your other situations. <laughs> Good. I am gonna add just a little bit more pepper. Mine's not necessarily pepper heavy. I want a little pepper in my potatoes. Get these mixed and then we'll start adding our butter. However much unhealthy butter you wanna add, that's up to you. Today seems like a appropriate a portion to add a ton. We did start off the day with moonshine peach pancakes. What a way to start off. I don't <laughs> know if it was breakfast or dessert. I'd call it both. I mean, really, that's a really good camping recipe. Alrighty, while our potatoes are cooking, we're gonna start working on the trout. You guys see we're getting some nice color. Keep them together, it kind of steams through the potatoes, helps cook them. Alrighty, as you know, over our previous video, when we went camping, I caught some trout. The problem is nobody ever saw it, right? I caught them, I put them in my tube, going down the rapids. The rapids got me and the trout got away. Today- You were, let's, let's clarify, you were fishing while you were tubing. Best way to do it. You get those <laughs> tubes, you go down the river, creek whatever you want to call it and uh caught a couple let's put it that way so i didn't have anything to show this trip is a little bit different not only did i set the hook on them they didn't get away we don't have the film of me catch them but let, <laughs> but let me show you what happened <laughs> they actually come now looking just like this fantastic you don't even have to catch them anymore so i've got the flays that i've already flayed out <laughs> and i bought a whole trout just to show you that uh you know you too can catch a trout. So you might not have to bring your uh, fishing gear if you don't want to. All right. Just find that backbone. Just work that fillet knife right through the rib cage. Just like that. My outdoor lovers, fishermen and women, um, I'm sure you got your favorite concoction. We just went to the grocery store and bought this. Just seemed like it was pretty easy to do. We're gonna do a light dredge today. So we're only gonna uh, season it uh, with no wet ingredients. So to the ball it goes. I'm gonna show you really quickly. If you notice, we got our potatoes moved over. Our griddle's plenty hot enough. I'm trying to find the cool zone. So we might bring our potatoes down. Let's do this. I think that's the coolest part of the griddle. So just take that fillet, coat it really well. I'm 
we'll get these other two knocked out and we should be good to go. All right, let's let those sit for a second. Lightly dust it for a little bit more crunch. We can shake that off. As your trout absorbs this, just like any fish, then that'll just give it a little extra crunch. All right, the sun's starting to get up on us, so I'm trying to hurry up here. I'm gonna pull the potatoes. You know, technically, honey, if you serve this with eggs, it could be called breakfast. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna add a little oil down to the griddle. I think my griddle is bowed, so we're gonna have to catch that oil like that. Presentation side down. Let's see if we can't get a better landing. Nope, it's going everywhere. Wonder if the bears are gonna be coming out of the woods up there, honey. Tell you what, if they do, don't think I'm saving you. <laughs> All righty, just to finish up those uh, trout, obviously you can have your favorite toppings. We just thought this was shelf stable instead of getting tartar sauce or something like that. So a um, little lemon I think is gonna do us. Vinegar is a good one to bring. Catching that grease a little bit. Bring it up here to where you need it. Okay. Ooh. Boy, that looks good. I thought there was a bee on me. God, look down. <laughs> hey, filming comes first, honey. <laughs> you know, if you get stung, you get stung. They do this all the time in the wild. So what I've done is basically just scrape all the grease down so then I can control where the landing spot goes, right? I really didn't need more oil. I just needed the oil to be in the right spot. I know it's good, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up this piece of trout right here since this is the one that we caught. <laughs> Cause I had to fillet that one. Just look at those potatoes right there. I mean, that is what country living's about right there. Those fried onions, the softened potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Come back, hit that trout with a little lemon juice. Whether it's on a campfire in a cast iron skillet or your bringer griddle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everybody try. Perfect. You can just leave the skin off mine. <laughs> oh, no. I want you to have the whole thing. You're lucky I gutted it. <laughs> we could fry some of that. Um, That's a big bite. <laughs> fry the tails That's up. That's a big bite of skin. <laughs> I've seen you take bigger. <laughs> See? That was actually pretty good. Skin where it's at. All right, guys. We're going to sit down and enjoy our lunch off the Blackstone Griddle. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Till next time, we might be in a campground near you.